Ifat Olagoke and um, just to say thank you to all the speakers that agreed to attend today and you know speak about various important um, aspects of business and legal Irish you know company law session of the new act. So um, my my I'm a freelance business consultant. So and that's pretty much my logo. So what, I'm, what do I do as a consultant? I'm not going to bore you too much with what I do, so I'm just going to go briefly on how I do my, my job. So basically, I'm a freelance business management consultant. I help startup and small to medium-sized enterprise businesses to solve a business issue, create value, maximize growth, and improve business performance. How do I do that? I, do, I mean, I can create marketing plan, strategic management, Advertising, ad advertisement concept. Basically, I can just um, put together some concept, and that works. That you know that um, captures the essence of the business or whatever the business wants to promote. So, like a promo video, and there's a you know there's a software and there's management control system. I'm also an event coordinator, and relating to business, I can run a focus group, facilitate workshops. On first consultation. I try to understand what the business needs and identify a problem, carry out research, and then make recommendation. When I make recommendation, it's up to the business to see if they want to implement the recommendations that I make. So but a prime example of, bus um, a prime example of um, what I'm doing right now is the business legal seminar. So how did I come up to this business legal seminar? Basically, after working with some of the ethnic minority business in Ireland, I identify some of their business needs, which enable me to practically structure this to capture um, to capture the needs that I did identify. So although there's loads of information on the internet, but business people they're too busy. They you know they they don't have time. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing a video and recording it and kind of like directly talk and you know, giving them the information in front of them. So um, what were the identified problem? Basically, structuring a business plan to attract investors can be a daunting task for an ethnic minority whose first language is not English, okay? And especially if you're not, origin, you know, you're not an indigenous Irish. When I mean indigenous, I mean you haven't lived here for 100 years, so you've no long-term heritage here. So support, well, most support, according to my research, are gener you know, generically, tailored to the majority population, okay? So, and I feel that little consideration for ethnic minority essential needs are not really considered in, in some of those um, things that I found, and they're not captured. So ethnic minority, you know, to access to finance, um, I'm looking at this research from AMRAC, Amrak, I hope I pronounced that right. It's an Irish pronunciation. So this is not just for ethnic minority. This is for normal business altogether. So they found that, you know, in a conference that happened on the 28th of May, 2015, SME are faced with, num you know, several obstacles. Example is affordable finance, which is one of the reasons why I have um, uh, microfinance. But they would tell us... <laughs> what it's needed to get finance from them. So that's up to them to show, you know, to explain what they do. So um, I think that's basically it, really. So current, so basically this seminar is just to create an informative platform. And what I do is I have, I directly have my, the businesses that I directly work with. So I'm going to use each of this um, seminar, the presenters such as Michael Johnson, so it's going to tell us what's required from my, uh, Microfinance Ireland. Um, the like of Tara Coogan, your presentation is highly relevant. You know, the new company law act that just came into force. So that's really, everybody's like, oh, what is it, what is it? Most people don't actually have time to actually sit down and look at the Irish status groups. So when you present, <laughs> exactly. So when you present, <laughs> yes. So hopefully, so I'm sure. I mean, I've, you, you came to my um, university, so I saw the way you broke everything down. So when I have this recorded, it's, it's I'm sure it's going to be easy for anybody or the businesses that I'm going to be sending it to to kind of have a summary of what's going on. And we have Dr. Murphy. Dr. Murphy is she's not here yet. 
she's my company law lecturer. So she taught me some of the you know, company law acts. I had to sit my exam myself. I have to wait for my results if I pass. <laughs> so she's going to talk about the research, researching aspect of company law. So you're starting up your business. You're looking, how do I, where do I start? Especially from ethnic minority. You know, they, you know, there's a whole lot of information on the internet. So she's going to kind of break that down a little bit when she comes back, when she comes here. So David Dooley is um, both here. <laughs> I work uh, with loads of ethnic minority that does uh, food that, you know, they're chefs, they're excellent cook. So, but they just, they just don't have that confidence here to just go out there. So it's going to give us um, growth through in cons um, consumer understanding. So I'm sure when they see your video, they understand how to kind of like tailor some of their unique product to, um, to Irish market. So that should help them in, you know, having positioning their product within Irish market. Um, Barista Femi is a friend of mine as well, so um, he's going to talk about charitable organisation, how to start one, because I have a network of um, ethnic minority groups that do have charitable organisation. They're not here yet, but hopefully they will join us. Um, so hopefully, I hope you find this seminar really interesting and um, informative. And I'm sure the information is quite current, so it's really applicable, current informative in solution. <laughs> so, thank you. So thanks to all the attendees. Thank you.